Hello, YouTube friends. Do you like trucks, fire trucks, dump trucks, garbage trucks, and more? Well, today, we're going to be learning about a few different trucks, and I think you're going to learn some really cool things about them. So stay tuned and learn all about some of the biggest trucks that you see on the road today. But before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification too so you'll know when we put out new videos. Did you do it? Awesome. Ready to learn about some trucks? All right, let's go. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. A fire engine is coming down the street. It's important to get out of the way so the firefighters can get to the scene of the fire as soon as possible. They need to get water pumping so they can put out the fire. A fire engine is a vehicle that is designed to help in fighting fires by taking firefighters to the scene and giving them access to the fire, water, and other equipment. Like today's fire engines, the first fire engine were actually just water pumps. They had wheels so they could be moved around. These original fire engines were usually pulled by horses or even people and were used starting in the 1700s. Like today's fire engines, their main job was to pump water. Back then, there were no fire hydrants and the water usually came from a nearby well or lake. The first modern fire engine was invented in 1905 by Knox Automobile in Springfield, Massachusetts. There are three main types of fire trucks. And among those likely to show up at a fire, a pumper trucks are about 30 feet long and hold a smaller amount of water. Tanker trucks carry large amounts of water to the scene. And here's an amazing fun fact. Sometimes you can find more than 1,000 gallons of water in one of these tanker trucks. Ladder trucks are longer than the other two types of trucks and measure between 40 and 50 feet long. You've probably seen these long telescopic ladders on the ladder trucks so firefighters can enter upper floors of tall buildings. Ladder trucks can operate in 50 mile per hour winds or more. And for skyscrapers, really, really tall buildings, some trucks can even get a fireman over 300 feet in the air. This type of truck is called the Bronto after the Brontosaurus dinosaur. So if you have a fear of heights, you may not want to work as a fireman in a big city with tall building. Did you know there's a big difference between a fire engine and a fire truck? A fire engine is usually the first truck to the scene, carrying water, flame retardants, hoses, and more, while the fire truck is more designed to carry the firefighters along with any other rescue tools that they might need to the scene of the fire. Fire trucks can hold up to eight firefighters at a time. The driver of a fire truck is called the engineer, and he or she is specially trained to handle the large size of a fire truck. A fire engine can be expensive to make. With commercial pricing ranging from $350,000 to $1,500,000 or more, depending on the purposes and the features of the truck. Do you know why fire engines are colored red? Well, fire engines are commonly colored red and this is generally attributed to the color's bright nature, which makes the truck stand out among other vehicles. And despite their large size, fire trucks can go fast. A fire truck can reach speeds of 60 to 70 miles per hour. But they generally go much slower than that when they're driving on busy roads with streetlights and heavy traffic. That's some pretty neat information about fire trucks and fire engines. 
Did you know the difference between a fire truck and fire engine? If you did, let us know in the comments below. Now, we're gonna learn all about garbage trucks. Garbage trucks happen to be some children's favorite type of truck. So let's learn why. First, let's learn more about a garbage truck. First, wagons and other means had been used for centuries to haul away solid waste and garbage. The 1920s saw the first open-topped garbage trucks being used, but due to the bad, stinky smell and garbage falling from the back, covered vehicles soon became more common. In 1937, George Dempster invented the Dempster Dumpster System, in which wheeled waste containers were mechanically tipped into the truck. George Dempster's containers were known as dumpsters, which led to the word dumpster entering our language. There are, of course, different types of garbage trucks that hold different amounts of waste. The truck that comes through your neighborhood can hold anywhere from 12 to 14 tons of garbage. Long haul trucks and their contents can weigh 80 thousand pounds. However, the shorter wheelbase of garbage and recycling trucks result in a much lower legal weight, usually only around 51,000 pounds. Let's learn about some different types of garbage trucks. First, there are front loaders. Generally, front loaders service commercial and industrial businesses using large waste containers with lids known as dumpsters in the United States. The truck is equipped with powered forks on the front, which the driver carefully aligns with sleeves on the waste container using a joystick or a set of levers. The second type of dump truck is a rear loading dump truck. Rear loaders have an opening into a trough or a hopper at the rear that a waste collector can throw waste bags or empty the contents of trash bins into. Often, in many areas, they have a lifting mechanism to automatically empty large carts without the operator or driver having to lift the waste by hand. The third type of garbage truck is called a side loader. Side loaders are loaded from the side, either manually or with the assistance of a joystick controlled robotic arm that has a claw on it. It's used to automatically lift and tip wheeled bins and dumpsters into the truck's hopper. The body width of a mammoth garbage truck is approximately 102 inches. The mammoth is a front loading garbage truck, which is one of the most common types of garbage trucks. It has a mechanical arm that is used to pick up and dump a loaded dumpster easily. Conventional garbage trucks cost about $250,000 each, but some hybrids cost about half a million dollars each since they are all early models. In just the United States of America, a nation of nearly 324 million people Americans can create more than 700,000 tons of garbage every day. That's enough to fill around 60,000 garbage trucks. That's a lot of garbage and also a lot of information about garbage trucks. I hope you learned something new. Now let's learn about a really cool truck called the dump truck. A dump truck is a big tool for a big job. It might be interesting for you to learn that dump trucks have been part of major business and construction for well more than 100 years already. We can fill dump trucks beds with rocks and dirt before pushing it across the rough terrain of the backyard. When it gets to the construction site, 
the dump truck makes mechanical noises as it lifts the bed, spilling what's inside out to the ground. A dump truck is used for transporting loose material such as sand, gravel, or demolition waste for construction. The open bed features a hinge at the rear of the truck so that hydraulic pistons located at the front of the bed can lift the front to dump the contents of the bed at the delivery or construction site. Dump trucks are big because they have to be. How much loose dirt or coal could you haul in the trunk of a family car or maybe even an SUV? Not much, at least compared to the large loads dump trucks can carry. That's why dump trucks usually have large diesel engines and anywhere from 6 to up to 12 tires. Another name for dump truck include dumper truck or a tipper truck. The biggest dump truck in the world is a Belaz 75710. This huge truck is as long as two double-decker buses parked end to end. Six times as powerful as today's Formula One racing cars and weighs more than a fully loaded Airbus A380 passenger plane. Each one of this massive dump truck's tires stands over 13 feet tall and weighs nearly 6 tons. Each tire also costs over $42,000, which helps to explain why the entire vehicle costs over $6 million to make. That's one expensive truck. But dump trucks are really, really cool trucks. And if you have a toy dump truck, I'm sure you, you've used it to carry sometimes toys, dirt, rocks, sometimes even water. Dump trucks used to be my favorite truck when I was a little boy. Now, let's learn about a tow truck. The first tow truck was built in 1916 in Chattanooga, Tennessee, in the United States. Mechanic Ernest Holmes was called to help his former professor pull his car out of a creek after an accident. As this attempt took eight hours and six men, Holmes knew he had to find an alternative solution for the future and other accidents like this. And while there have been many different versions of tow trucks since Holmes' day, including popular toy versions for kids, surprisingly, the world's largest tow truck harks back to the original. This million dollar model was assembled in Quebec and shipped to British Columbia for use by a private company. The world's smallest tow trucks hail from Asia, where the traffic can be extra heavy and cities densely packed with people and buildings. Some tow trucks used in China and other Asian countries aren't even trucks, they're actually motorcycles. Did you know that? I didn't. If you didn't know that, make sure you let us know in the comments. Now, depending on where you are in the world, a tow truck may be referred to as a recovery truck, a breakdown truck, a breakdown lorry, or a wrecker. Remember, this is just a general term and doesn't describe any particular type of tow truck. At first, there was only one type of tow truck, today known as the traditional tow truck. As the car industry evolved, so did the tow truck. Today, there are five types of tow trucks. The boom, hook and chain, the wheel lift, the flatbed, which are most common vehicle carriers for sale, and the integrated tow truck. That's a lot of information about tow trucks, but I had no idea that some tow trucks are actually motorcycles. That was a crazy fact. What do you think? Now, let's learn about one of the most common trucks that you see on the road, 
on 18 wheeler. 18 wheelers are known by many different names, such as a rig, a tractor trailer, a semi trailer, a trailer truck, big rig, or semi. Semi trucks are between 45 to 53 feet long, and inside of the trailer, the width ranges from 93 to 99 feet. Semi trucks are 13 feet 6 inches tall, and some loaded semi trucks can weigh up to 80,000 pounds. Semi trucks were invented in 1898 by Alexander Winton to deliver cars to customers. The engine in a semi are six times larger than a car engine. Semi engines have up to 600 horsepower and they are designed to go 1 million miles. Semi engines can hold more than 15 gallons of oil and semi engines often have more than 12 gears, 10 to move forward and 2 to go in reverse. Stopping a semi at 80,000 pounds requires a longer distance to come to a complete stop than a car. At 40 miles per hour, it takes 169 feet for a semi truck to come to a complete stop. At 55 miles per hour, it takes 335 feet. And at 65 miles per hour, it takes 525 feet to come to a complete stop. So when you see semi trucks on the road, you know that that driver is really got to pay attention and drive his truck carefully. This one doesn't change. A definite fact about semis is they're pretty pricey vehicles no matter what you call them. A brand new semi 18 wheeler truck can range anywhere in price from $120,000 to $200,000 just for the truck. We've learned a lot about different trucks today, how expensive they are, what they're used for, and some interesting facts like some tow trucks are motorcycles and fire engines and fire trucks are different. So I hope that you learned some really neat things today about trucks and enjoyed watching this video. If you did like it, can you do me a favor? Can you click that thumbs up button and let us know that you liked the video? That would be great. So, if you like this video and want us to keep making more, make sure you subscribe and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you on the next video.